Hi everyone and a huge welcome. We had a bit of fun going down Walking Street the other day and I filmed some food experiences I didn't put in that video but I want to share them with you today. The sound's a little bit iffy so I apologise for that but stick with me to the end because there's a great fire show. Come on. Hello. Making a little uh, high rice pudding. How much are these? 20 baht. Just give these little Thai rice puddings a try. They're beautiful and hot, just come straight out of the cooker. Mm. Delicious. Film your fish. It's good, huh? Good day. <laughs> it's good? Mm. What it's is a very good, very tasty. Very, very tasty fish. Yeah, huh? it's a very tasty. What fish is it? It's sea bass. Beautiful fresh sea bass. Are we not? No, no cut open yet. Looking good, huh? How much is it? Three. Yeah, one piece. One piece, including salad. Salad, some rice, rice, and chicken. Any cooking or the same ones? Mm -hmm. Some garlic and some butter. Okay. Garlic. Steam, it's better. Yeah. Steam is better. Well, yeah. It's a recruiter. We have two kinds of cooper. Yeah. White and red. Okay. So and this is the red grouper, yeah? Yeah. Look at this fella. He's not happy. <laughs> uh, the soup. So. So, yeah. Really let it go. Like blackfish. Yeah, black. Like place. So this is like a sole. This guy has his eyes. So you see the fish here, the eyes on the sole, they're all, both on the top because he swims like this. And then he can see in one direction. No eyes on this side. This local? Yeah, this one local. Local Thai this, oysters. This one, yeah? that's a local Thai. Different from France, from oyster. Well, you do get bigger oysters, I can verify, in France. But these are small ones, they're imported. Yeah, imported yeah this is imported. Oysters. And then, the small one, expensive. How much is this one? It's about 70 baht. We're on 100. 100 baht? Yeah. Can I try one of each? Okay, we're going to try oysters from France and oysters in Thailand, and I'll give you an idea what I'm trying. How different can you do? Yeah, I'll try it. So we've been talked into coming in and having fish. Now this restaurant looks absolutely beautiful. We've got a, a look over the bay here at Fishman's Bay. I've ordered myself a red snapper. We're going to try and see the difference between the oysters imported from France and the oysters from Thailand. Come in a little closer and have a look at these oysters. Now look at that. That is a Thai oyster and you can see it is mammoth. It's a huge oyster compared to this imported French oyster next to it. If you like oysters, I'm guessing these French imported oysters are the ones to go for. But look at that one. That is a meal in itself. I'm going to add a little lime juice in with the French oyster. And give this a try. Now this to me is the size of oyster I want to eat. But, uh, This is just way too big. I mean, I won't be able to eat another thing. Look at the size of this thing. Let's just uh, release it from inside the shell. Give you a, a rough idea of how big we're dealing with. How am I gonna be able to scoff that in? Let's start by putting down some collateral damage equipment. I'm not look, looking forward. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of light on this one as well. A little bit of this, this chili sauce that they provided. I'm not, looking, I'm not looking forward to this one bit. Let's go. I think what to say because they're both great oysters. One of them was very subtle, what I'd expect from an oyster. The other one was like having your mouth filled to the brim with a really good uh, sirloin steak. 
little bit of fillet, just way too much. It was just too big. Good, anyway. 70 baht for the big one, 100 for the little French import. I'm gonna go with the French one. Sorry, Thailand. And look at this beautiful red snapper. Isn't that look great? And it's come with uh, some steamed rice, some salad. Now come in, take a look at this beautiful snapper. They grilled this for us. And look at the beautiful flesh. You have to be here to really appreciate it. And I wish you were. Now what is this here? This looks like, oh, this is actually garlic in an oil. Give that a try as well. Melts in your mouth. Now this guy is making some little flat pancakes or rolled pancakes which he calls Tokyo. Uh, I don't know why, they have their little chocolate uh, lacing on the top, that's a little bit of pancake mix with some chocolate, then in go the little frank sausages, some nuts, some eggs, a little bit of seasoning and also some fish sauce, then he rolls them up into these cool little designs here and uh, I had the one that was nearest to us with the two franks in and these girls had the others. And then we found the ice cream cart we were looking for. This vendor, he's actually making up a hot dog ice cream at the moment. He's got like a hot dog bun, filling it with coconut ice cream, which is really strange. In go the nuts and of course the obligatory condensed milk. Now this one he's making for me, he's got a coconut shell. He's scraping out the coconut from the inside. coconut stays in the shell in goes sticky rice now sticky rice goes really well yep. with this ice cream uh, the coconut ice cream of course yep. all the different toppings and the milk and there you go now that's 70 baht but that's 70 baht for two ice creams so good value <laughs> Now those oysters were absolutely crazy big, the Thai oysters. Uh, not an oyster that I intend to eat on a regular basis. I hope you've enjoyed the video and a look around Walking Street and the food that we had there. Uh, be patient with me, the blogging is very new to me and I will get better in it as we go along. Hope you've had some fun, be good, comments down below. See you next time.